You know, sweetheart, everyone stumbles in life. It's a universal truth that we all make mistakes. Some people have the wisdom to recognize and correct their errors before it's too late, while others only comprehend their blunders after they've lost everything. Unfortunately, I fall into the latter category, having realized the truth only after losing my most cherished possession. It's ironic that I now refer to it as precious, considering I never appreciated it when I had it. I took it for granted, not realizing its true value. Many people considered me fortunate because I possessed something unique that others lacked. However, I failed to understand its worth at the time. That precious yet unappreciated thing I lost was you. I took you for granted because you were mine, and I didn't comprehend your value. You were always understanding, never throwing tantrums or making unreasonable demands. You never questioned my whereabouts, doubted my intentions, checked my phone, or invaded my privacy. You cared for me, showering me with love and asking for nothing more than my attention and time. Life was good back then, but I don't know what came over me. I don't know what I was seeking in the outside world. I caused you so much pain and made you yearn for my love. You deserved to be drenched in love, but I barely even offered you a few drops of affection. I only realized your true worth when you left my life. As soon as you departed, my peace and happiness went with you. I stopped socializing and didn't feel like doing anything anymore. I started developing bad habits. It took me a long time to understand why my condition was deteriorating. When I realized that your absence was the reason for my unrest, I recognized all the mistakes I had made in the past. I regretted my behavior and felt ashamed of my actions. I had a diamond, but I discarded it, thinking it was just an ordinary stone. I understood that separating from you was the worst decision of my life. I want to apologize from the bottom of my heart. I'm truly sorry. You didn't deserve the way I treated you. I was wrong. I was harsh. I can never forgive myself for losing you. Looking back, I realize how much I hurt you. I made you starve for my love. You deserve to be showered in the rain of love, but I rarely even gave you a few drops of love and care. I realized your true value when you went away from my life. As soon as you left, my peace and happiness also left with you. I stopped going out. I didn't feel like doing that anymore. I started getting into bad habits. It took me a lot of time to realize why my condition was worsening. When I understood that it's because of your absence that I'm not able to rest, I realized all the mistakes that I made in the past. I regretted my behavior. I felt so ashamed of my actions. I had a diamond and I threw it by thinking that it is some kind of normal stone. I understood that separating from you has been the worst decision of my life. I want to apologize from the bottom of my heart. I'm very very sorry. You didn't deserve the way I treated you. I am wrong. I was harsh. I can never forgive myself for losing you. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. I am truly sorry for everything. I hope one day you can forgive me and we can start anew. I miss you and I hope you are doing well. I wish you all the best in life. I am truly sorry. My dear, last night was a significant one. As we were all gathered in the living room, engrossed in a television program, my parents brought up your name. They were curious about how you were doing and expressed a keen interest in getting to know you better. My mother, in particular, was quite enthusiastic about the idea of meeting you. She mentioned that she would love to spend some quality time with you, to understand you better, and to welcome you into our family with open arms. My father, too, echoed similar sentiments. He felt that it would be a good idea for you to meet them, to familiarize yourself with our family dynamics. This, he believes, would make the transition smoother for all of us once we are married. The thought of this meeting, however, fills me with a sense of nervous anticipation. Even though I am confident that it will go well, I can't help but feel a bit anxious. You see, my parents already hold you in high regard. They have heard so much about you and are eager to meet the person who has captured their daughter's heart. 
On the other hand, I know how much you respect my parents. Despite this mutual admiration and respect, I find myself being overly cautious and paranoid. I want everything to go perfectly because I love you very much and I want this meeting to be a positive experience for everyone involved. I envision a future where you and my parents share a strong bond. I can even see a time when you all will be teasing me together. However, the thought of the initial meeting is a bit nerve-wracking. I guess it's the fear of the unknown that is causing this anxiety. But I am hopeful that with time, everything will fall into place. One of my deepest wishes is for us to start living together soon. This can only happen if we get married at the earliest. The thought of waking up next to you every day fills me with joy. I want to make our relationship official. I want to give you the respect and title you deserve as my partner. I want to fulfill all the promises I've made to you. You have been nothing but good to me. You have shown me love, respect, and kindness. I want to reciprocate these feelings. I want to show you how serious I am about you and our relationship. I want to ease your mind and clear any doubts you may have about us. I am confident that everything will be fine with time. I hope to make you the happiest you've ever been. You are my world, and I wish to give you every happiness in the world. I love you, and I look forward to our future together. I am excited about the journey that lies ahead of us and I can't wait to embark on this journey with you. I love you. There will inevitably come a day in your life when you'll comprehend that I wasn't a malevolent person. I was merely engulfed in confusion and fear, particularly of my own feelings for you. Love was an uncharted territory for me, a realm I had never ventured into before. My decisions were always dictated by practicality, devoid of emotional attachments. This pragmatic approach extended to even the most significant decision of choosing a life partner. I was under the impression that if the family backgrounds, educational qualifications, and jobs matched, I could live a comfortable life with that person. I overlooked the importance of emotional compatibility, confusing love and liking with physical attraction. I was convinced that I was making the right decision for my life at that time. I was aware of your feelings for me, but I was unsure about my own feelings for you. So, I agreed with my family and got married. In the beginning, I was content, and things seemed to be working out perfectly. When you discovered my marriage, you stopped communicating with me. It didn't bother me much then, and I continued living my life normally. However, as time passed, I started feeling a strange emptiness in my heart, as if a part of me was missing. A peculiar sadness began to seep into my heart. I didn't ponder much over it and started working more to distract myself. I found myself craving to see even an online status or story from you. I missed your presence in my life and thought that I had lost you forever. I still didn't understand what was happening to me. I ignored my feelings. I yearned to hug you, to be close to you. My heart ached to meet you, to talk to you. I continued with my life, even when it pained me to stay away. But there came a time when I couldn't ignore my emotions anymore. I had to confront my heart about what it felt for you. I realized that I never felt the need for an emotional connection with others because I got that satisfaction from you. When you distanced yourself, I missed our emotional connection. It took me a long time to realize that it was always you who had my heart. Even though I would never tell you this in person because it would be unfair to you, I hope you know that even when I didn't know, I loved you, and I still do. Your love was not one-sided, I was just unaware of my own feelings. I hope you understand that my actions were not driven by malice but by confusion and fear. I hope you realize that you were always the one who had my heart, even when I didn't know it myself. I hope you know that I loved you, and I still do, even though I may never say it out loud. I hope you understand that your love was not unrequited, I was just oblivious to my own feelings.